Wilhelmina and Robin are going shopping for some dresses and some shirts and things like that. Shirts? What? We forgot to tell Robert about the green shirts. What okay. about them? Robert, there are three green shirt chiefs in Port Charles, and they all wear special tiger claw rings. Well, that's good. And that narrows things down a lot. I think we ought to go after these guys. Frisco, I don't want you going after anybody. And why not? Because I'm concerned for your safety. Somebody out there wants to kill you. It could turn out to be one of these green shirt chiefs with a fancy ring. Who knows? Exactly my point, Robert. Who knows? I'd like to find out. Drink your coffee and lighten up. Well, here's... Hey, I've got, got them. Them. Hey, the I want one of those places where they develop them in an hour. Just a look. Oh, easy. Hey, these are good. Well, now we've got to find them. Well, one thing at a time, we're accumulating the pieces, bit by bit. What have you done with your arm? Oh, don't ask. I... Hey, come on, on in, join the branch truck. Got your message from the hospital, Commissioner. Over here. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, how you doing? All right, have you heard from your brother? No, and uh, at this point, I'm really worried about him. It's like somebody's keeping him on the run. Come up here and uh, have some coffee. Okay. All right, everybody gather around. I want you all to be equally informed. Uh, Anna and Frisco know of the uh, computer comments regarding Wu, so this will be for the benefit of Yank and Felicia. Now, on the surface, Mr. Wu is a legitimate, well-respected art collector. When you start to scratch a little deeper, it would appear that he has known criminal affiliations. At this point, we have no proof. Um, tell them about the summit. Summit? Yes, well, today at Wood's factory, there was a <coughs> meeting of several Asian gentlemen, and I managed to get photographs of them when they left the meeting. Have a look. Uh, anyone you recognize? No. Right. Felicia and Frisco have uncovered a rather interesting fact here. It would appear there are three green shirt chiefs in Port Charles. They all wear the same signet ring. Now, it means we've got to round up all three and see what they all have to say regarding their operation. Well, do you th really think that they're responsible for the bombing and the uh, threatening Robin? I don't think anything just yet. But I want to get my hands on those guys by the end of the day. If we succeed in doing that, we'll have put one more piece back into the puzzle. So am I or am I not involved in this manhunt? I don't know. Look at it this way, Robert. If somebody wants to kill me, they'll kill me. Why make yourself a target? Hell, I'm a target already. All I'm missing is the bulls I painted on my chest. Trouble is, I'm a little short of manpower. All right. All right, Prisco, include yourself in. Now, these green shirt chiefs, whoever they are, I want them all here by the end of the day. Well, where do we start looking? Wherever they hang out. Well, I'll keep my eye open at the karate school. I know several of the green shirts are enrolled there. And I'll try my luck at the... The tea house. What do you think? Well, Anna and Yank have the two most logical places. We'll just have to think of something just as productive. Excuse me, Commissioner. I, I just can't believe that the green shirts are responsible for the bombing and the notes. They're, they're a bunch of good people. That's your personal opinion, but a good cop never lets something like that stand in the way of looking into a good lead. Well, so in other words, I should keep my emotions to myself. Robert, hmm? suppose the ring was stolen that's being used against the green shirts. Well, that's an interesting possibility. I guess if you ever get started, you'll be able to find that out. I think he wants us to get going. Let's go. We don't even know where we're going. I have some ideas. Come on. Listen, wherever you finish up, Frisco, you take care. I'll see Bye. you too. Yeah. Bye. You know, if I didn't know that that was Frisco, I'd swear that he was a member of your police force. He gets more and more like a cop every day. I know, but don't ever tell him that. He went to Bert the other day and requested a job in the department. He did? Yeah. Bert and I decided not to okay his request, but maybe we were wrong. I don't know. But are you thinking of changing your mind? Hmm? About Frisco, are you considering taking him onto your... But what are you thinking of? I don't understand. You seem to be miles away. What's going on in the Asian quarter? Hey, 
Can't do beer. Uh, egg rolls, please. Yes, sir. Looking for a young fellow. His name is Tay. You know him? I've seen him in the last few minutes. Do you know where he went? Thanks for your life, Sam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but Yeah, look, the messenger has just, uh, left with the pictures. Well, tell the boys I want to make on those men ASAP. Right, thank you. This is turning out to be an interesting day. Let's hope it keeps up. Ah, oh, well, yes, if that's a hint for me to go to the classic school, I'm on my way. I can give you a lift there if you like. Thank you. I wonder if Robin's still napping. Oh, there isn't. Oh, I was just talking oh, about you. Happy. You're going shopping? Yes, yes. I have a mean and need some dresses. Oh, how wonderful. Going to Dino's. I get to have pizza. Oh, sweetheart, I um, I can't come with you because I I have a meeting to go to. Uh, what's uh, what's your first stop? Oh, we're going to eat first. We are starved. All right, then I can uh, drop you off at Dino's, and then the private eyes can take over after that. Hmm? How's that? We get to travel together at least. <laughs> All aboard. That's. Going aboard. Come on in. Now. You, well, think of it this way. We could always cut the short door in half and make twin coffee tables. <laughs> and cut in quarters and make four coffee tables. <laughs> cut in eighths and make breadboards. <laughs> well, at least you got your sense of humor back. Not really. It's just that I don't, if I don't laugh, I think I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't believe what they've done with those doors. Hi, Yang. Hi, Bobby. Oh, Jake Meyer, Dr. Chung. Yes, we said hello. Right. How you doing? All right. Are you taking a tea break from the hospital? <laughs> it's uh, very quiet in here today. Well, I think it's a little late for lunch, and it's a little early for tea time. I'll see you at the hospital, Bobby. Okay. Jake. Oh, hello. It's so crowded in here. Do you think I could uh, share this table with you? I like your dress. Well, a little bit of tradition every now and then isn't... Doesn't hurt. Yeah, well, seeing that dress reminds me of home. Do you miss it? Well, I'm not homesick, if that's what you mean. Because I know I'll go back and visit every once in a while. That keeps me happy while I'm here. People with goals always seem to be happier, don't you think? I certainly do, and I see. You have your goals right here. Ah, uh, school is just a beginning step. I don't know what I want to do, actually. But tell me more about your plans to return home. What will you do there? Well... Start a hospital with my brother, and, uh, I don't know. Go on. I'd like to hear about your hospital. Well, it certainly wouldn't be the same without my brother Tay being a part of it. We've had so many plans that we wanted to do together. Still no word from him? Nothing. I don't know what more I can do. Well, don't be discouraged. He's bound to turn up. I wish I had the same kind of faith you do, but I don't. Every day seems more... more hopeless. Worse than that. Helpless. Oh, Yank. I mean, what, what kind of attitude is this, anyway? A doctor is supposed to be in control of himself, and... That's just for work. When you're talking to a friend, you can be an ordinary human being. Speaking about friends, where is everybody today? Are you asking about anybody in particular? Well, the green shirts usually come in here. And what's the matter? They have a new hangout or something? Oh, no. They could pop in at any moment. Oh, good. I'll wait then. You see, I'm looking for the green shirts that have that special signet ring. They could be in some kind of trouble and Scorpio wants to talk to them. I really don't think they're troublemakers. No, neither do I, but I can't prove it. Maybe Frisco can. 